Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 39 of Delicious Party for the Here. So, gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm hungry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna eat after this. <laughs> So forget sweet. I think because of last week also as well, you know, mm, fell in love with her grandma all over again. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my god, uh. <laughs> no, go on, Yui. I mean, dang, we haven't seen her help help in like a while, especially with a sport. Between this and Blue Lock, Jesus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have nothing to say? Hmm? 
Okay. Is that me or was that a little suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> She's like, I have no time for nothing. I am an independent bad bitch, but no, still gotta, you know, help the boss. <laughs> Yep, this is also why you should always make home-cooked meals for lunch and everything. Never always go out to eat, only occasionally, one time a week, especially for lunch. Dinner, that's up to you. <laughs> or you can always do meal prepping, and that's what I want to kind of get back into. But not as much as yours. Mm. Yeah, so it's on the house.
<laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. I know. Like, I feel like she's emotional. You know, you know when you eat with emotions and stuff? Like, hella emotional? Oh, my God. Eating your feelings. Yep, need more. Hey, hey. The fact is, call me, call me, it's just like, here, you eat, it's okay. Eat your feelings, babe. Would I look good? Mm hmm Oh. Not good with eggs? Mm. It's interesting that it would be eggs, though. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, we all, like, in some way or shape or form, when we're baking something, we all kind of hate eggs and such because the biggest thing is we're trying not to get shell into the mixture and, excuse me, not the greatest feeling. Thank God that has never happened to me. Ooh, excuse me. Because, uh, <laughs> Yui, even now, come on. Help the child. <laughs> we really, in the last nine weeks, I think, yeah? Yeah. Nine weeks. Oh my, oh my God, I don't want to think about this right now. I mean, like, the, see, the biggest thing is, look, we've talked about this already. So, of course, the name is out. And we are on the 10th of December, and at least by the week of Christmas, I think that's when we're going to see the first looks and everything. I don't think we're going to know the saves until maybe the first week of January. So I, I do have a couple of faves that I would like to join in this series. Um... I think maybe, probably in the next two weeks, we'll talk about that for a couple of minutes and such. Or I'll tweet about it and then be like, oh yeah, let me just share it real quick. Because I have a couple. One of them was voiced in something that I officially finished today, or really yesterday when you guys see this. Um, and I would love to see her in it. She's kind of really number one for me. And then the other, there's I think two or three from Simpho Gear to round this in folk gear esque and then I think there is two or three from SAO. So I think if you've seen both SAO and, and uh <laughs> Simpho gear, you probably know who I'm talking about because <laughs> there's aren't even others who have been pretty curious, but the one person who I am thinking of today, of course none of y'all are gonna figure that out because none of y'all know what the heck I what who I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, Yui, oh my god. Baby is so off her game today. Oh. Do you have something? <laughs> Give her a sandwich! Mm-mm.
Yeah. Spoken like a workaholic. Hell, that's also me in a way sometimes. Exactly, you'll be eating away at yourself. Gave me an idea. Oh, you'll know soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I can't speak. Because we are getting so freaking close to the end of the show, we're going to find out. I mean, you know, there, there is nothing left for them to do. I mean, besides number one Christmas episode that's coming up the next, what, two weeks? So, it's coming.
Okay. A cucumber look good. <laughs> It's just something like kind of just tells me Huey is just going to take over the job. Ron, what? Amane, what? Are we going to find out the truth next week? I mean, it would make sense for the next episode to be about him and his dad. Because, once again, we are getting close to the end of this show. So we got to go back into main story territory not, you know, we had like what two weeks of filler, two or three weeks of filler and such. So no, 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 no. I'm lying, lying. This is one week. What one episode of filler? Everything else was main story last two weeks. So okay, yeah, we need to go back to the main story plot, plot, <laughs> like filler plot. Yes, that's good. Getting more character development with the girls. Yes, that's good. Mary too. Yeah, everybody else. Yes, good, good, good. But main story, we need to know more about Cinnamon. And then hopefully, um, Black Pepper, you know, gets his identity recognized. And then, you know, Yui's like, what are you doing here? And, and, uh, you, you just still want it secretly, even though I feel like Toei's not going to do that. They are not going to do their iconic little moment from another hidden quote, quote, <laughs> nudge, nudge, magical girl other series that they've created. And such, they're not going to do that. Like, as much as I want them to really do that, they ain't doing that. But it was a good episode. I mean, hey, I, it just, it was sweet. Really, for a Yui focus based episode, very sweet, very wholesome. And I'm going to eat dinner after this. <laughs> Oh, and it would be the Christmas episode. Now, something also tells me that I feel like Cinnamon is going to al mm, al still allow Takumi to be black pepper because he doesn't he he knows he knows he knows because he's the one who told who told him about the stone and stuff like that but I, I feel like at first he's gonna be like oh it's too dangerous and stuff you're getting hurt yada yada da, 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 da. and then you know talking he's gonna be okay with that but then there's gonna be a moment maybe where Takumi and Cinnamon are, you know, there with the girls and something's going to happen. And then that's when, he, you know, Cinnamon is going to realize, be like, okay, no, you're, you're a natural. You're born to do this. This is what you have to do and, and, and such. But who, who freaking knows? Next week is the Christmas episode. I love the fact that we're getting it early. Kind of ask. I think we're supposed to, to uh, what I, from what I've heard, and it seems like from the title of the cards, because... I think the Ama no, I think the Christmas episode is Amane focus esque. So this is like Christmas part one and then Christmas part two, the week of Christmas. So I'm not mad at that either because this is the first time we've kind of had a like two parter holiday esque episode because normally when you think of 
Pretty Cure holiday ass episodes in the past, we've always had one. And then, you know, you have freaking um, Healing Good, which had only one as well and such. Um, and that was just Halloween because they ain't have no Christmas episode because, you know, COVID. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 38 of Delicious Party Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 40. Bye, guys.